we talk a lot about fiber in gestation and, and I've seen diets 40, 50% distillers grains, right? So we know we have lots of insoluble fiber in that case, but um, what about lactation? Should I worry? Um, you know, I think I'm, I've written a handful of papers on 30% distillers and yep. it doesn't seem to hurt much, but should we think about it or, or is it really not a factor in lactation? You know, I think that's a good question. You know, obviously one needs to keep in mind that the energy and nutrient density of those diets, especially going into the summertime here as we go into that season, you know, as long as we don't limit that sow's intake, you know, from a capacity perspective to enable her to take in nutrients to support her lactation and subsequent reproduction, you know, I, I think some added fiber is perhaps good, especially around that fiber or that farrowing time point from a constipation perspective and a fecal quality perspective as well. You know, adding some bulk to the diet that way. You know, and, and you're right, I've seen some diets myself that are relatively high in distiller's grains, for example, and even wheat mids and some pelleted diets that I've put together before. You know, sow seem to do just, just fine on that. And at least anecdotally, the farm managers seem to think that they did better on higher fiber diets, at least certain genetic lines. You know, I think that may be another area that's ripe for research after the gestating sow aspect of it as well as having an understanding of elevated fiber, especially in these hyperprolific cells, you know, that we may, we may know are somewhat limited on nutrient intake capacity 